another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will be evaluating the effects of monetary policy. In the last video, we analysed the effects of monetary policy. However, it's important to note that the size of any change in interest will affect the extent of these effects occurring, whether interest is rising or falling. Years like 2022, with its high interest rate rise, will see a much greater effect on things like saving, borrowing and spending choices than the previous nine years, where the change was within 1%. When it comes to savers, many people are saving for a particular reason. This might be something like a house deposit or a car. These people might continue to save, even though interest rates decrease. If we consider rising interest rates, Many people are not in a position to save more as interest rates increase because they're on low incomes and have to spend the majority of what they earn. Pensioners rely on their savings for their income, so they're always directly affected by interest rate changes. Mortgage holders may be able to lock in their interest rate for a short period, but then they will be subject to variable interest rates. 37.5% of the UK population have a mortgage. So, if you get asked to evaluate the effects of monetary policy on consumers, you might discuss the fact that different consumers will be affected to a different degree. Probably the biggest difference maker in how effective monetary policy is, is confidence. Consumer confidence is how consumers feel about the future of the economy. This may vary between different consumers. For instance, those with high paying jobs with good skills that expect their job to carry on into the future without a doubt, may feel more confident than those with low paying jobs that may be susceptible to changes in the economy and losing their job. If consumer confidence is low, then some unexpected effects may occur. People may remain unwilling to borrow, even as rates decrease because they'd be concerned about their ability to pay it back in the future. People may still choose to save despite lower interest rates so that they've got a cushion against bad times. People on fixed incomes like pensioners may choose not to spend the additional income they receive when interest rates rise if they're worried about rising prices. People with mortgages may not choose to spend the additional income that they receive when interest rates fall if they're worried about prices or if they're worried about interest rates rising again in the future. Another important factor in how effective monetary policy is, is business confidence. This is how businesses feel about the future of the economy. It may well vary between different industries or different firms. If business confidence is low, businesses may be unwilling to invest even at very low interest rates. If businesses feel on the other hand that they can make more profit from investing, they may still invest even though interest rates are very high. When businesses like banks lack confidence, they may be reluctant to loan money. This was seen after the 2009 credit crunch where interest rates were very low, but banks having been bitten by banking some bad investments with bad loans recently, were very reluctant to loan out money to new customers. That brings us to the end of this video evaluating the effects of monetary policy. Join me again soon when I'll be coming back with some videos about supply side policies. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.